Hi Metro Kids. So over the last few weeks, we've been taking a break from our regular Bible lesson in order so we could celebrate Christmas and learn more about Jesus' birth. First, we learned that everything God said about Jesus' birth came true. Two weeks ago, we learned that God chose Mary and Joseph to be Jesus' earthly parents. Last week, we learned that Jesus was born to bring peace between God and people. Jesus' birth was good news. Today, we're going to learn that the wise men traveled hundreds of miles to see his new king of the Jews. When they saw him, the men worshipped Jesus as king. As king. Long ago, God promised to send a king to save his people from their enemies. The people waited a long time for their king, but the time had finally come. Jesus was born in Bethlehem at the same time Herod was king. Was Herod the king God promised? No, Herod was an evil king. God sent a star to show the wise men that Jesus had been born. The wise men traveled to find Jesus. They came to King Herod, which, where is the king of the Jews, they asked. We saw his star in the east and had come to worship him. King Herod was very angry. A new king, Herod was, Herod was king. He assembled all the chief priests and scribes. They looked at what the prophets had written to figure out where Jesus had been born. The chief priests and scribes told King Herod what the prophet Micah had written. And you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah, because out of you will come a leader who will shepherd my people Israel. Herod spoke to the wise men in secret. Go and search carefully for the child. When you find him, report back to me that I too can go and worship him. But Herod was lying. He didn't want to worship the new king. He wanted to kill them. The wise men followed the star until it led them to Jesus. They went into the house where Jesus was with his mother Mary. The wise men fell to their knees and worshipped Jesus. Then they gave Jesus gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time for the wise men to go home, God warned, warned them in a dream not to tell Herod where Jesus was. So, they took a different way home. After the wise men were gone, an angel appeared to Mary's husband, Joseph, in a dream. The angel said, Get up, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child and destroy him. So in the middle of the night, Joseph got up and told, and took Mary and Jesus to Egypt, where they would be safe. King Herod was so mad that the wise men didn't even tell him where Jesus was. He had all the boys in Bethlehem under two years old just to make sure he killed Jesus. But he didn't know that Jesus and his family had escaped. A while later, when Herod died, and the angel spoke to jo Joseph again in a dream, Get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, because those who sought the child's life are dead. So Joseph do, did what the angel said. He got up and took Mary and Jesus to Israel. The Christ connection is, so the wise men came to worship Jesus as a king. Jesus is the king who will rule forever, as God promised to King David, David in 2 Samuel 7. Jesus is the true, is the true king who is worthy for all of our worship.